Hi everyone, I'm Heather with Burner Babies. You're watching this video because your puppy has finally been born and a lot of you have been waiting a very, very long time for this to happen. So I first wanna say congratulations and second, I'd like to say thank you. So I don't know if a lot of you know this, but Burner Babies has been my dream since I was 12 years old. And so without you, I would not be able to do this every day. So I wanna say thank you and that I appreciate each and every one of you for adopting from Burner Babies. Without you, I would not be able to live my dream every day. So now that your puppy's been born, I think it's really important that number one, you watch this video. And second, that you keep that email. So in that email, it spells out everything that's gonna happen in the next eight to 10 weeks. So it's really important that you have that email and all those dates because I will adhere to that schedule to the very, very best of my ability. If I can't, I will email you all directly or I will post something on Facebook. So it is very important to me that you know what to expect from me as a breeder. I have been in every one of your shoes. Um, and so I know that you're anxious and that you're excited about your new puppy. And so it's important to me that you know exactly what to expect from me as your breeder. So number one, my priority always is to your puppy. I wanna keep your puppy happy and I wanna keep your puppy healthy. Always, that, always, that's my number one priority. So it's important to me that you know that. So number two, I also have a commitment to you. I wanna be honest and forthcoming always. So it's important to me that you have the, that information in front of you always. So keep that email. Um, you'll never, never have to guess what is coming next or when. So that is why that is the very first information that you get from me. So keep that email and you'll never have to second guess what's coming next or when. So in that email that you just got from me, it talks about training. So it's important to me that you understand why we offer that. So the very first thing that I mentioned is the kennel training. So this is important to me that you really consider this option. So the kennel training, I, I try to keep affordable and I really hope that you consider this and I really hope that you, you, um, that you do this. The kennel training, I, I try to keep affordable and if you are gonna put your puppy in a kennel, I hope that you do this. So let's think about this, okay? So, <clears throat> sorry, my throat's a little dry. Okay, so let's think um, of take home day, okay? You are bringing your puppy home and your puppy is leaving everything that they've ever known. Um, they're leaving um, everything that they know behind. They're leaving my, my family behind, they're leaving their mother behind, and their sibling behind, and they're joining your family. Um, you guys are all strangers. They're coming into an environment that they don't know. Um, they may be encountering dogs that they don't know. They may be um, encountering no dogs, which would be very unfamiliar to them. And their first night at home, you are asking them to sleep alone in a dark, essentially, box. Okay, that would be extremely terrifying. Okay, the environment itself with strangers, new dogs, or no dogs is extremely terrifying. Okay, now, if you bring them back to my place, to my home, and I introduce them to a kennel, first of all, I introduce them to the kennel slowly. Um, so I introduce them at 10 or 20 minute intervals, and then we work our way up to sleeping overnight in the kennel. And so by the time they leave my home, they're generally, generally sleeping um, overnight in the kennel, no less than seven to 10 days overnight in the kennel. So by the time they leave, they're having generally no accidents in the kennel overnight, and they are completely comfortable. Um, so by the time they get to your home and you ask them to sleep in a kennel overnight, even though everything is new and unfamiliar to them, new people, new dogs, no dogs, by the time you ask them to go to bed at night, that is something that they're comfortable with. And that is extremely helpful in their transition. So you take everything that's new and scary in their transition, but nighttime is something that they're comfortable with. It is extremely, extremely helpful in their transition. Um, the stress level on them goes way, way down. And that is why I truly, truly encourage the kennel train training. I, I try to make it affordable for everyone. Um, it is a lot of work for me. Um, and even though it is stressful on the puppy, it's in an environment that they are completely comfortable with, with people that they're completely comfortable with. And a lot of times their siblings are going through the same transition um, of the kennel training with them. 
So even though it may be a little bit stressful, there's no stress diarrhea involved. There's no um, true stress on the puppy here because everything is familiar. They go back uh, with their mother in the morning. Um, everything is familiar to them in the setting, in the environment. So if you don't wanna do anything else, I highly, highly encourage the kennel training. Um, this is also required if you want me to meet you anywhere or if your puppy um, is going to fly. So I truly, truly encourage the kennel training if your puppy is going to be in a kennel when they go home, you know, once they get to your home. The obedience training, also with the kennel training, they go home at eight weeks if you kennel train only. So with the obedience training, that, that does include the kennel training. With the obedience training, they go home at 10 weeks old and I keep them for an additional uh, two weeks. So they already are kennel trained, uh, but usually they are kennel trained for an additional two weeks. Um, but the obedience training, they learn how to walk on a leash, they learn how to sit, they learn how to stay, and they learn how to lay down. Now by the time they leave at 10 weeks, they already know all of those things. Now a lot of the obedience training that they get once they go home, they have to have all their required shots, which doesn't even start until 16 weeks. So you are already ahead of the game by starting the obedience training here because I started before they even have all their series of shots. So by the time they get home to you, they already know how to work, walk on a leash, which is huge. That is so huge <laughs> because puppies hate leashes. It's a restriction that they hate. Um, so honestly, that is usually the biggest challenge. Um, once you get them to walk on a leash um, and get them to accept a treat, because here, there's no, there's no restriction of food, so they don't understand um, working for a reward of food. Um, so even just getting them to take a treat can be a challenge sometimes. So um, they learn how to walk on a leash, they learn how to sit, they learn how to stay, they learn how to lay down, and you walk out of here with a puppy with manners. That's huge, right? That, that is such a huge thing, having a puppy with some manners. Um, so it is something to consider, I think, when you walk out of here with a puppy with some manners. So it's just something to consider, I think, um, when you're working with a puppy, especially you that are leaving with a large breed dog, um, manners are such a huge thing. People with a little dog, I think manners are big too, um, but especially you that are leaving with a large breed dog. So something to consider, um, but definitely the kennel training, I think, is something that everybody really should consider. Um, it really does help with the transition. I feel it is something everyone should do, in my opinion. So I just wanted to talk about those things. Um, also, everyone knows right now that you have to take your puppy to the vet within three days of pickup. It is in our contract. Do not wait until you get your contract. You are not going to get into the vet within, you know, a short amount of time. So with the birth announcement, you get pickup dates. So set your vet appointment right now. Call your vet and get your puppy in to the vet. Um, everybody comes up to date with shots. Everybody comes up to date with dewormer. And you know within three days of pickup, your vet, your puppy has to go to the vet. Set those appointments right now. I don't want an email or a phone call that says, I couldn't get my puppy into the vet on time because you know eight to 10 weeks in advance when your puppy has to go to the vet. So I will not accept that your puppy could not get in on time because no, no vet is booked eight to 10 weeks in advance. I'm sorry. So you know right now that your vet, your puppy has to go to the vet. So um, book those appointments right now, today. So um, I, um, I strongly encourage that. So um, that's really all I have for right now. I just want to say again, congratulations that your puppy's been born. I know a lot of you have um, been waiting a very long time. So thank you again for adopting from, from Burner Babies. We have a lot of videos out there um, with a lot of information. So I, I highly recommend that you watch them. So you can like and subscribe below. Feel free to um, comment on any questions. Um, and watch our videos. Lots of good information out there. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them and um, we'll talk again soon. Bye everyone.